myself to write. The reason why I wanted to do this album is because things started coming to me. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do this because I started waking up with things in my head before I was not able to go to sleep because things were coming to me mm -hmm. before I was going to sleep. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like I was like, okay, I'm going to have to do an album now. It was more just like things started coming to me. I have all these papers with you know, with, with, with words and phrases and verses and ideas and concepts and hooks mm -hmm. and all this sort of stuff written down on it. Mm -hmm. Eventually those things started coming together, you know? I realized that I never re I never really wrote in long, like sat down and wrote 16 bars at once. I always wrote in like little sections because the, the things that, the things that come to me, they come to me in pieces. Mm -hmm. You know, and so sometimes it's just a matter of assembling those pieces. I have two bars here, four bars here, an idea that needs to be reworked, and then you just go through everything and like fill in the blanks, yeah. essentially. And when that started happening more often, it meant it was time for me to do something. Like the branches of trees, I'm a child of the village, so it lives in me. And the change is gonna come, we're patiently waiting, the day is still young. I'm a lot of it was going, was leaving here. A lot of it was like going, going to Cuba. Really Cuba was big, because there was a point, you know, it's like I was doing a lot of stuff at a certain point, and touring, and, and this, and I had released the last record, mm -hmm. and then, I stopped doing it because I started. I felt like I started re being really involved in like the music industry, quote unquote. And it sucks your life out of you because it's so false. It's like so fake. It's not real. And and people treat you. People act and treat you like nothing is real, and they don't even recognize it sometimes. And so being in that, I just felt like I I didn't feel inspired anymore. There was just, I was just doing music because I did music, and that's not uh, to me. That's not a good reason reason to create any form of art just because. You know what I mean? So I just I I didn't feel like I was doing anything or I was being productive, or, and so I stopped. And one of the things that I did is actually go back to school and finish my degree. And in that time, it's like a lot of people that I was around, like like Chaos, like K9, just started getting bigger and bigger and more popular and whatever. And I was like in school at York University or Sheridan College, like behind a computer, like doing you know graphic design projects and trying to finish up papers and that sort of stuff. That's what I was doing, you know what I mean? So, but then I had left school. I started a design company. I did that for a while. I encountered the same problems that I encountered with the music industry and doing that, and then it just going through things just by rope, just because you've been doing it, or just to like make money or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, and I got opportunity to go to Cuba, because um, I met these these people from the group called Obsession and, uh, and La Fabrica, who do the Cuban Hip Hop uh, Symposium in Havana annually. And they were in Toronto, and they said, you know, we're doing the symposium, it was the first one, and you want to come through? I was like, all right, cool. Let me You know, so they said they were doing this symposium and, you know, do you want to come through? And I was like, all right, I'm, well, like five days before the symposium happened, I went. Um, I decided to go and, and went and experienced what I knew to be hip hop when I was younger. And the reason why people did hip hop in Cuba, especially because of the economic situation, because of the political situation, people that are doing, you know, a lot of uh, Cuban hip hop are doing it without the possibility of making a lot of money. The possibility is experience or travel and also just to express yourself. And I kind of forgot that in being in the music industry. Like, yeah, I just like doing this. Uh, regardless of what it is or how it might even impact people or not or if I might ever be able to make any money doing it. I just like doing this. That's what I did when I was, you know, 15, 16. I just used to do it because I like to do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's no other reason. And so 
and I came back and I was running all these youth programs with you know kids at the same time who were all like in between those ages of 14 and 17 or 14 and 18 you know and um, and they were just doing it because they love to do it too and it made me remember why I wanted to do music in the first place or why I started doing music because I never had a dream to be like involved in music I just mm. did it because it was another avenue for my creativity like you mm. know like painting or illustrating or design or photography or one of those other things writing just writing or poetry or whatever mm. and so yeah just it re-inspired me to be like oh you're looking at these complicated things that you need to spend more time just looking at simple things and expressing what is an uh, issue for you what is a problem for you what you love, what you don't love, what's going through in your life, that's the only reason that you really wanted to do music in the first place. But you can forget that when it's like, you know, this record has to come out at this mm -hmm. time, and yeah. the funding and the financing, and the this and the that, and this is, well, don't you want to reach the most audience as possible, and all the things that start getting thrown, you need a video, and a this and a that, and distribution, and manufacturing, and marketing, and, and all this sort of stuff, and you start thinking like a businessman when you really, when it comes down to it, it's like, oh, you know, I can think like a businessman, I know how to do this properly, but this is not the reason, this is not the purpose for me doing this. The purpose was way beyond all that other stuff, which is just a means to get it out, but not the reason why you're doing it in the first place, you know? <laughs> Save our souls, black bodies on the country.